Good morning, guys. It is Thursday morning and we just got our room service. I learned from the last time that I ordered that you have to specify that you want a certain amount of each item. So I just check marked one of each item and I got one of each item. So lesson learned, I put it number two next to everything. So we have um, two of everything that we wanted. We have a couple of bowls of cereal here. We have some coffee, orange juice, and some pastries and things. So we're gonna have breakfast and we're gonna head over to Half Moon K. Good morning, guys. I can't believe it is Thursday morning already here on the Carnival Legend, and today is my favorite day because we're headed to Half Moon K, which is Carnival's private island. And if you've never been, it is honestly one of the most beautiful islands that you could ever possibly see. So I'm really looking forward to it. We're there from 8.30 until the final ferry comes back to the boat at 3.15, so we'll have a good amount of time. It's about 8.10 now, so we wanna be one of the first people on the ferry over to the island. You do have to tender over because we can't, because Carnival can't get the ship, you know, all the way to the island. So it is a little bit of a production getting over to it, but once you're there, it's amazing and I'm really looking forward to it. So the weather looks really nice. It's gonna be in the 80s today and sunny and I am looking forward to a really beautiful day at Half Moon K. All right, we're taking the ferry boat over to Half Moon So we're walking down to where the pirate ship is because that's where I wanna get a chair today because I just love going in the pirate ship. It's really cool. And there's a great view of the ship from here. We have arrived at Half Moon Bay and this is not a bad way to start off for Thursday morning. <laughs> Today's buffet was very similar to yesterday's. They had hot dogs, hamburgers, um, they had some kind of a potato salad and fruit, and I got a chocolate chip cookie and a brownie, rice and beans. There's like piles of stuff on this plate, but everything looks really good. So we're gonna have a lunch break and head back to the beach. So this is our view for lunch. We can see the ship through all of the trees here. And we basically had this whole area to ourselves, which was really nice. All right, we're gonna head back to the beach. to our room and this is our towel animal of the day but we're not quite sure what it is so comment below if you know what this guy is I don't see a tail or anything there's some ears maybe a bear. is it a puppy dog a bear <laughs> yeah I don't know <laughs> let me know what you think and we stopped and got some food on the way because lunch really wasn't fabulous so got another guy's burger to hold me over until dinner we had a great day at Half Moon K. It's my favorite place ever. I've been on a lot of cruises. I've seen a lot of islands. It's just the best. It is total paradise there. I probably already said that, but it really is. And we are getting ready now for dinner. We came back. Um, you saw we ate a little something and 
I took a nap actually. I was so tired just from being in the sun all day. But we're gonna get some dinner and it is St. Patrick's Day today. So even though the theme tonight is Caribbean night and I had some really pretty tropical dresses for Caribbean night, I'm wearing a green dress <laughs> because I specifically bought it for St. Patrick's Day. So I have to wear it. And we're gonna go down a little bit early to do pictures. We're trying to do some photographs so that maybe at the end I can find a couple that I really like and then I'll purchase them. Last time I did the photo package and if you're traveling with your family, I think it's totally worth it because I do like to get a lot of pictures and they always do a really nice job and there's beautiful backgrounds to choose from, but I think I'm just gonna get a couple from this cruise. And there is another show tonight at 9.30 with our cruise conductor, Lee. So I'm really looking forward to that because he's really funny. You know, the show last night, like I said, if you guys watched yesterday's vlog or maybe earlier in this vlog, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to be putting these together yet, but um, his shows are just really funny. So I'm looking forward to that. And I have my, <laughs> the rest of my wine in my nautical cup that I got. And, and Emily looks like a lobster. Emily Look. got fried today. Do you guys want to see Emily? Yay. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of sunburn going on. Emily's not the only one, so many people. I think it's the first time that like people are seeing the sun coming out of the winter, so everyone is getting burned. I'm not really burned, but I'm well, getting- I was just in Aruba, so. <laughs> I was just in Aruba, so I had a base tan, but my skin is really dry and flaky and gross, so dealing with that. All right, we're gonna go get dinner. So at Half Moon K, they sell these plastic cups and you can get a tropical drink in it for about $14 and I think refills were about $12 at Half Moon K but on the ship refills are 10 bucks so being that most of the mixed drinks on the ship are close to $14, $15 the drink itself comes with this so you're paying you know that same amount of money but knowing that I can get a 19 ounce refill when I think that the drinks on the ship are about 10 ounces and they're definitely more than $10 each this is really a good deal. So I just thought I would share that with you guys. They have special shamrock butter for St. Patrick's Day and they also added corned beef and cabbage to the menu, which is nice. To start, I got French onion soup. So like I said, they have corned beef and cabbage and potatoes for dinner, but then I also couldn't resist trying this pumpkin pie with cheese dinner. I'm really not sure what to expect, but anything in a pie shell is usually really good. So I'm sure it'll be good. For dessert tonight, they had a specialty cheesecake. Look at how cute. for another famous performer show. Uh, tonight is a 70s disco concert show. Do we have any 70s disco fans joining us here tonight? Awesome. back from dinner and the show we ended up leaving the show a little bit early it's not what I thought it was I thought it was gonna be more of like an interactive with the crowd type of a show with Lee but it was the 70s show and it was just really a bunch of 70s music done by performers um, and I'm just really tired so we're gonna call it a night tonight because tomorrow's excursion I think we have to meet at 8 o'clock in the morning or 7 30 a.m. 7 45 so that's early and we had an early day today so we're gonna get some sleep and we will see you tomorrow in Freeport good night